Annyeonghashimika. It's me, Eddie. Uh, I wore uh, all these. Oh my god. When Pony Effect first came around, one of the products that really, um, one of the first few products that they came out with, um, after their spring collection or whatever, was these nail lacquers, the spray on type. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I'll probably make a video on those just around because they're. Girl, no one's buying them, so she came out with, they came out with like a set, you can buy all five for like a very discounted price. They're not that expensive in the first, they're like six dollars or so uh, alone for one can, which is not too bad to be honest because SE Polish I think is like eight dollars or something. Uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, they came with these tattoo stickers. They're called One Step Tattoo whatever, but um, I put it on thinking because i didn't really read the instructions i put them on thinking that they're just like other temporary tattoos where you stick them on and you put water but the design is actually not on the paper but it's on the because there's two layers it's on the what is it on the clear side i was like what the hell so i put it on i was like it's not like i accidentally like, touched it and like it stuck to my finger so i was like what i got one of like the little thunderbolt symbols and i put it under my eye here and I put I put it with I put like a wet cotton sheet on top, thinking that's how most temporary tattoos are. But uh, I guess it, it's called one step because you literally just stick it on and you peel it off, and it's supposed to stick to your skin. But uh, I went to bed like that, woke up and it's gone. Where is she? Where is she at? I don't see not. Where is it? Where is it? Joan invited me to go see this this cafe or something. So I'm gonna take you guys. I'm actually doing a foundation review today on the new Etude House BB Bomb uh, cushion. Uh, BB bomb, I should say. Um, so I figured I would like switch back and forth between this and that. So gorgeous day out. Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks nice in person, but for me here it looks just like a polluted city. But no, it's nice weather. Actually, you know what? Speaking of tattoos, the tattoos came with like this cardboard thing, and I got this weird idea to like cut out the shape so I can actually just create like my own little tattoo <laughs> using gel liner and using that as like a stencil. You know, what? let's try it out. Let's try it. Well, that didn't fucking work. Okay, she done tried it again, but it's just looking, uh, I just look crazy. The light <laughs> next to my door broke, next to my full body mirror broke. <laughs> this is what I have to show you. <laughs> I'm here in uh, Karusuki now, and I'm all, I think I'm almost there. It's on the same street as uh, Gentle Monster right here. And uh, one thing I think is really funny, is I was walking through the station and I saw the advertising for like plastic surgery, cleansing things like that. I think it's really silly. Oh, you look at that. Hi! Right as I am vlogging. Hi guys, say hello. Hi! Where are you guys going right now? We just saw you from like Mr. Holmes Big We saw you walking. They followed me. That was interesting. Uh, no, but I thought it was really funny because you always got like these people that come to Korea and they're doing like documentaries I guess and they're always like there are advertisements for plastic surgery absolutely everywhere and I'm like what at like two stations? <laughs> Three out of like the hundreds of stations that are here in Korea you have like advertising for actual like plastic surgery but they paint it to be something like more than it really is. I'm not saying that plastic surgery isn't prevalent in Korea because it is everywhere but uh yeah I don't know that was really silly. I'm here I've arrived Cafe La Cafe La Semblage. There's some gel. I wonder if she's here. I don't think she's here. Hold on. She's fucking late. Who the fuck is she? Who the fuck does she think she is? Just kidding. She's almost here. Hi, Oh, you're being very loud right now? Hello, it's Joan. Welcome. Back. Oh my gosh, it's so late. Not really. It's only been like. Oh, she's better film her intro right now. Girl, they messing around with this interior. And then this is Edward. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you're me. It's such a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Do you like the? Okay. See you. Okay. Cafe La Zambola. Vlogs up yet? Again. Look at this. That's luxury right there. <laughs> this is a family owned company and uh, so everything is like made in house or whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
close up my hair. <laughs> Apparently the signature, um, when I was like showing that little shot of like all the cakes, the signature one was the the milk crepe, was, was the milk crepe, right? Mm -hmm. It's like made out of like a, a bunch of like layers of crepes. Uh -huh. She said like when you cut right through it's like real slow oh, and some of that and then like the berry cream cheese oh my god Ooh. I feel like use of the word blend in the name of the coffee makes it sound so much fancier yes. it's a special blend you know it <laughs> go ahead John go right ahead I get scared to be in your vlogs yeah that's right like they see a different side of me it's the real side she's here Blast. Mmm, see this is the little layers I was talking about. Don't look at that, there's more. <gasps> Orange part. Cheese tart, matcha tart, and this is the ghost. I love Kokma. It's like an audiobook, it's just narrating it. You know a cafe is not messing around with their plates are the kinds that are just flat. <laughs> You know, this is how all like mukbangs happen. They all start with like little. Oh, sh oh no, I completely just messed it up. Let me just ruin everything. Oh, you get the orange right on top. So, you're, of course, you're, it's like you're eating an orange, but then you get like, the sweet. It's healthy. It's so healthy. Oh, that's luxury and the glamour. Oh, look at those layers. Mm. Smooth. Look at look at those layers. It's look at those layers. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. You should have seen it. That's real good. Yeah, let's have the strawberry shortcake. I feel like they have the strawberry shortcake everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like Dora has their mm -hmm. version. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. Oh, that's soft. That's fuzzy. She's wow. cute. This would be like, and your cute category. Yeah, she's this lit. Like, I guess. I guess she's this lit. This is a favorite right here. Mm -hmm. This was really good. <laughs> it's very light though. It's not like, cause then there's a lot of uh, cakes out there that are like when you eat you almost want to throw up because it's so sweet. But that's all. This stuff is very light and like refreshing. I feel like most cakes in Korea are not that sweet. Yeah, which I like because mm. you know the Costco cakes. Oh my god, please! Oh, I want to vomit. I'm sorry. See, the thing is, this gets tricky because they're really hard. Oh, right. So it's hard to just like poke your fork into them. You're gonna just have to like grab them. Yeah. Wow, See that look I mean? at that. That's Instagram worthy. Instagram worthy. <laughs> I love green tea. Do you like green tea? No. You don't, right? It tastes very interesting. Because they're cheese tarts. Now that, because like, I was, used, I was used to the flavors of the, the cakes, mm -hmm. but that's a very, it's a very tangy, like cheesy taste, but then it's like green. You're so good at reviews in general. <laughs> Well, it is time to review. I did intern at Food Network. I'm you did? No, oh. I'm going with. I was like, hey, Bob. <laughs> I watched Rachel Ray's uh, 30 minute meals. I give up. I tried. That's yeah, fine. Like, we, it doesn't we got even the look shots. appetizing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't even look appetizing. <laughs> oh, so, so that was matcha. This is cheese. Cheese. Plain cheese. Just plain cheese. Cheese. Oh, that's good. Oh, that one's good. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Smooth, creamy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 crust part is really crumbly. It's not too crunchy. It's Bro. so good. Olive <laughs> Network, where you at? I want to do mukbangs. Yeah, it is. ASMR mukbangs. We're at. This one is. That's the Coke's, the sweet potato. <laughs> Oh. Sorry. Koguma. That's how I say it. <laughs> My favorite. I love koguma. Tastes like mashed koguma. A little bit lighter. A little bit fresher than like a straight up koguma. The mm, crust is still really fluffy. I love it. Not fluffy, but crispy. Not too hard. There's a lot of store-bought things like this. Can tend to be really crunchy. This is for you, actually. Oh, what is that? Sorry, like cheese tarts. Oh my gosh, thank you, you so much. 
Thank you. Have a lot of fun. Thank you. Bye. 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 If you guys want to come visit, I'll just come and see you. Bye. 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 Bye.
There's something, I like silver, I like cool colors. I don't really like gold, to be honest. But you know what, I sucked it up. I was like, I'll just get the 16 gigabyte. Because they didn't have the other one between the two. And uh, I'm, I'm struggling. All because I wanted the silver one. And what do you know? I'm covering it with a, with a fucking case. Uh, I, there's a shit that showed up on um, my, my Instagram feed. And I... I think it's the same girl, and um, I ranted about this on Snapchat, but I wanted to write about it on this vlog because I can. There's this girl that was uh, that saw Monster X when they had when they had came here. Uh, not here. This is fucking Korea. I I think it was in the states, maybe. I could be wrong. It could have been here. I don't know. Anyway, she basically called out to I am. I was like, huh, I am. Do you know what daddy means? And I'm like, I know some people are like, oh, I am speaks English though. He's from like Boston, but like. Have you heard him speak English? Boy can barely get a proper sentence out, which is totally fine because I can't believe he's, he's Korean. Like he's in Korea promoting K-pop. Like I don't expect him to speak English. But the the point is, daddy is like a term. I know I used to use. I'm like over it to be honest with you. I used to use it a lot, but I think it's like a term that, in the way that it's being used in this context, it came out that in that way. Oh, not too long, but like maybe a year and a half ago. And the things I don't expect I am to know what that shit means. And I know we are always calling our idols like, oh, daddy, oh, yeah. We're always calling them that on like social media as like a sort of term of endearance. But for some, I feel like it's different when you're in person, you know? When you meet your idol, well, first of all, how are you gonna, like, if you see your favorite idol in person, the first thing you're gonna say to him is, do you know what daddy means? I don't know, I just feel like it's rude. I'm sorry, I'm like, this is probably like an old issue, but I'm, you know what, I'm gonna talk about it. Cause I wanna, I kinda wanna get your opinion on this. Like setting aside like angry feelings and all that, do you think it's okay for people to be like, oh daddy, like in person to like their idols? I don't, cause I feel like, just thinking about it, I feel like even saying it to like a non-idol, like a regular person, like I would say it more like a joke, you know what I mean? Cause saying it seriously is kind of weird. I'm sure, I guess you'd be, she's saying like, in a joking way, but there's just something different about this whole dynamic that just it just really words me out. Anyway, oh my God, it's such a long backstory. I think it might be the same person, but there's this other video. Oh my God, it's my daddy's guys. Hi, daddy. Hi. Hi, I am. Hi, Juhan daddy. Hi, I am daddy. Hi, bye. Really, bitch? Look, I don't know the girl. I don't care to know the girl. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know your opinion on like the sort of um, and then don't get crazy. No, nobody get crazy. I want everyone to be civilized, I guess. But yeah, what's your opinion on like that sort of behavior and interaction between? Because um, I know I've mentioned even on Snapchat before, like, oh, there might be a possibility that I might myself might work with Monster X, and everyone's joking, like, oh my god, how are you gonna be able to keep your hands off of Wanho? But like, I'm thinking about it, I'm always acting crazy on Instagram and on my videos. I'm like, oh my god, Wanho, but like in person. I can't be acting like that shit. You know what I mean? I can't. I need to act like because one, I look fucking crazy, and two, as a human to human interaction, I myself as well would be weirded out. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. As I'm like eating my uh, Oreo McFlurry from McDonald's. Also, here's another thing. Let me know how you guys say McDonald's in your country because I know uh, I ca I say Mickey D's because my sister called it Mickey D's at some point. So I was like, I'll call it Mickey D's because I don't know, it's kind of cute. Uh, in the Philippines, they call it McDo. I feel like in Korea, whenever I type it out to a friend, I'll, I'll just type McDo and they know what I mean. But I feel like they don't say that. They usually just say McDonald's. And I know in Australia, they're like, Maccas. When I first heard it, I was like, what the fuck? But listening to it now, it kind of, I guess it makes sense to me. But anyway, there's that. I want your opinion on the situation and how you say McDonald's in your country. Oh my god. We got a package from NYBK, the glasses company that, um, you know, always sends, not always, they send me glasses every now and then. And this last time they were like, oh, what glasses do you want? Um, because they were wanting to send me another pair, so I was like, oh, I've been looking for glasses that are like, clear. Um, because I don't know, I think they're kind of cute, because I don't really have clear glasses. Except these ones. You might have seen every now and then. So I was like, oh, um, let me get a different pair that are clear, I suppose, because I kind of think that style's cute. Um, so I went on there, I found a pair, and I was like, oh, how about these ones? The Troy C69s, and, uh, I received it today, I received it the next day. Um... <sighs> I have to go send them back tomorrow. They were saying how, uh, they wanted to work with me on making a pair of glasses, maybe? Which I thought was like, that's a great idea! And then I start to get all like creative and shit in my head, so um, I don't know. It's things like that where I'm like, oh my god, y'all, I fucking made it. Mom, 
Mom, I'm gonna come out with a pair of glasses. Oh my god, but I'm gonna tell her that her being a Filipino. Ay, naku, Edward. Wala akong pakialam sa inyo. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm sorry. Like, I always feel like, uh, I'm gonna try to vlog more. However, oh my god, I feel like the thing is, I always complain about how, I complain about everything, to be honest. I always, like, complain about how I'm like, oh, there's like a standard now for our only vlogs and I always have to be funny and then people will be like, oh no, Edward, it's okay, whatever you do, you know, you could be talking about spaghetti for five days and I would, so, but like, let's not lie to ourselves. It's not as fun when I'm not funny, you know what I mean? But I'm always like struggling, especially these days where I don't have that much human interaction because I feel like when I was working at the army base, and I was always interacting with these kids. I mean, they're just kids, however. They had a lot to say, so, you know, we would have conversations about all sorts of things. So, they were kind of my connection, because, you know, those little kids are connected to the internet all the time. So, they're always, like, up to date with, like, the current shit. And here I am, just, like, absorbing all this information through them. But now that I don't work there anymore, um, I'm kind of, in a way, like, socially... Here I am again, trying to think of smart words. Culturally, I feel like I'm in, a, like, a standstill. And I don't get any, like, cult so culture like pop culture other than through like maybe YouTube but the thing is I don't follow I mean I watch beauty videos for God's sake like how much pop culture can you get through that so whatever Edward I was when I quit that job is like the Edward that I still am today so I need to get some dick and I need to get out more so those lovely people out there still watching my videos even to this day thank you the ones that keep coming back to watch my channel this is why I try to upload every day try to come out with new okay I want to stop talking anyway I'll see you guys in my next video bye